do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> Oh, we back or another big body banger. No, I'm saying, how y'all doing? Y'all vibing? I'm vibing too. Thank you for asking. For the small amount of you that actually ask, I appreciate you. You're goaded. For the rest of y'all that literally listen to me, ask y'all every single video, and don't say nothing back, your mom will probably let me clap on every Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, maybe Sunday too. I don't know. Sunday is a religious day, but she don't care. Okay, but before we get into the video, joy.com by two with our free bundle up. Takes off $50. You know what I'm saying? Look at the tat. Look at, look at, look at the tats. Come on, man. Another tat right here. Another tat up there. You know what I'm saying? The tat. I'm tatted. Hide your wives. Hide your aunties. Your grandmas. Your sisters that's over the age of 18. Your best friends that's over the age of 18. Any female within a million mile radius, hide them if you care about them. Because they bought to be mine. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It's just what happens. I didn't ask for this superpower. God was just like, hey, I'm gonna bless you. And I was just like, I'm gonna receive it. No, I'm saying. But reaction Josiah has entered the chat once again. Now, honestly, y'all can send me whatever videos y'all want me to react to. Most of the time, I look at them and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool to react to, and I just forget. So, what y'all should do, honestly, actually, what should y'all do? Honestly, DM it to me on Instagram. I'm gonna start screenshotting them and putting them inside a folder for me to react to. And like, if you send me a video to react to and I react to your video, I'll give you props for it. But this video right here that I found, it literally popped on my recommended and it looked cool. Like, it's literally, it's, the title of it is 10 animals you, you'll be glad are extinct. Now, I'm a big animal person. I do love animals. I'm not really scared of any animals. Only animal I can say I'm scared of, I don't know. What are scary animals? I don't freaking know. I don't like bees and wasps. Like, I could do all other insects except for bees and wasps, but bees and wasps are insects, not animals. What animals am I scared of? I don't know. Probably me, because I'm a dog. I'm saying, no, I'm just playing. I'm a wholesome young man. But um, apparently, it's supposed to be like really scary or something like that. I don't know. We ought to watch this together. I have not watched it yet. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. What does extinct mean? Extinct means like they like, they like gone. Like, because. Tigers are about to be extinct, right? Like, they about to have all the, the things of them killed off or something? I don't know. Save the tigers, man. Save the tigers. Hey, guys, it's Chris. From the biggest snake ever discovered to ginormous sharks that terrorize the sea, here are 10 animals you'll be glad are extinct. Come on. Lay it on me. Number 10, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Starting strong here, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is- Okay, that's regular. Nobody wants to see a freaking T-Rex running around. Of course, I'm glad they're extinct. Like, imagine you walking outside. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. You look over there. Oh, it's a T-Rex literally charging 100 miles towards me. What should I do? Give up. At that point, you give up. A T-Rex will kill you. And your entire family, it'll break down your house. You can't lock your door. You're dead. Literally dead is no doubt one of the most popular and legendary dinosaurs ever discovered. And while the T-Rex may not have been the largest dinosaur around, it was still a terror, and there's a reason why like, many movies and TV shows have made sure to include the T-Rex when they get back to that time period. Bones found if the Tyrannosaurus Rex place it at about 20 feet long, and its height was about the same too. 20 feet long and 20 feet high. Do y'all understand how tall 20 feet is? I'm six foot seven, so that's about four of me coming at you 20 feet long, teeth and all. You're dead. You're literally dead. No competition. Which would make it definitely a threat to people and ecosystems if it were still alive today. In terms of weight, there's a bit of a discrepancy. The best guess is between 13,000 and 32. 13,000 and 32,000 pounds? That's, that's cars. That's cars running into your house. You can't hide in your house. What do you do if you see a T-Rex running to you? Think about it. What would you do? Leave it in the comment section below. Because at that point, I give up. I'm like, okay, God, I guess it's my time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I start praying in tongues, just like you know what I'm saying. You feel like just accept your fate at that point. He's knocking down houses, knocking down cars. You have no chance of surviving. Give up. Two thousand pounds. It's a big difference. 
There's just no way of knowing for sure which is the truth because all we have are the bones. One of the biggest reasons we should be glad the T-Rex is extinct is because of the toughness of its skin. And there's no doubt it could plow through buildings once it built up enough momentum. That's what I'm saying! Just its skull was said to be as hard as titanium and going at up to 25 miles per titanium? hour. Titanium? No Isn't that like the Wolverine head? Ain't that what... Isn't that a Wolverine head? Or is it something else? Either way, it's strong. Plus, it could barrel through just about anything. Furthermore, while it's true that T-Rexes are shown to be solo hunters, if there were more than a dozen in the world, well, we'd be in big trouble, as every single one would be a major threat, and it would take some serious firepower to bring them down. Number 9. Titanoboa there once was a time when dinosaurs and mammoths and other massive creatures ruled the- earth. That looks like a crack cocaine filled freaking elephant. Earth. And among these massive creatures were gigantic versions of snakes. Oh, you don't want a snake? ones that make the ones today look like teeny tiny little pets. The biggest one of all is the one and only Titanoboa. This massive serpent was one of the apex predators in the ancient world. Once the dinosaurs were gone, to be clear, with a length of about 42 feet long and a weight of about 2,500 pounds. 42 feet? That's almost as long as my, never mind. It was a snake like no other. Think about that body with that weight trying to crush you. Many snakes can squeeze the life out of a human if it was able to get the right position and had enough time to squeeze, but the Titanoboa would be able to do it with very minimal effort. But since this was from the ancient world, how did we learn about it now? That would be because 15 years ago in Colombia, a student was visiting a coal mine when he found a fossil of a leaf. After some research, he believed the leaf to be from an era known as the Paleocene Epoch. This got the attention of many other archaeologists and scientists. They did some excavations to find fossils of creatures that used to live in the earliest versions of what's now the rainforest in South America. Among their findings was a vertebrae for the Titanoboa. Needless to say, they were shocked at first, as the Titanoboa shattered all expectations of what a snake could have been in the ancient world. So all this is based off because one dude found a leaf. I see a lot of leaves. What, what can I find out about? Is there like a freaking humongous version of the centipede or something? Because a leaf? All these leaves in the world, you want to take a leaf you, under the step, you, the step, you, the step, you, step, 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 the coat, the, 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 you, thingy, you, the scope thing that you look into, that's what you want to do? Alright, nerd. As they continued to search around, they found skull fragments from the Titanoboa. This was a feat to be praised, as snakes are known to have skulls that don't last after they die. The Titanoboa that was discovered can now be found in the Museum of Natural History. And numerous books and papers have been written about the Titanoboa since its discovery. Which shouldn't be too surprising. After all, it's the biggest snake ever found. Titanoboa is now- <laughs> Biggest snake ever found? No further comment. The star of Titanoboa, Monster Snake. Number 8. Liviatan Melvelli. Whales aren't known for the- Where do they come up with these names? Just call it a freaking big whale. They want to see Livy and- Livy at and Mel- What the heck is that? Biggest snake ever found. Titanoboa is now the star of Titanoboa, Monster Snake. Number 8. Liviatan Melvelli. Whales aren't known for their aggressiveness outside of a few species, but in the prehistoric waters, the Liviatan Melvelli proved that any whale could be a fierce predator if its DNA was right. To that end, some label this as the most aggressive whale species ever to exist. The only real modern equivalent to the Leviathan Melvelli is that of the sperm whale. Unlike the sperm whale though, the Leviathan Melvelli had teeth that were over a foot long. With that size of mouth and teeth, they attacked all kinds of creatures in the sea, including going after sharks and even going after other whales. As noted, this was an aggressive whale, and it would seek out prey rather than just waiting for them to come to it like modern whales of our world today. If you're curious about the name of the creature, it was named in part by the legends of the Leviathan, including the one that comes from the Christian Bible. And the other part was inspired by the legend of Moby Dick, written by Herman Melville. It's said, though not proven, that the Leviathan Melvelli could have been a rival to the Megalodon. Number seven. All these freaking, I don't know what these words mean. These names they're throwing around. Y'all ever read your Bible, right? 
and like all the names they just be it just be mad names you just like don't skip over it but it's like okay m person a person this is what i'm feeling right now i don't know what the heck they saying they saying something about a mega bus or something about a mega whale or something. i don't know it's stupid saber tooth tiger in our world today we have cheetahs lions see this is something i know about a saber tooth tiger i've heard of a saber tooth tiger before so i'm prepared tigers for this. panthers and other big cats but not a single one of them compares to the ice age wonder that was the saber tooth tiger these massive cats were the ancestors to many cats, and they're the pinnacle of what cats can be when they don't hold themselves back, as the saber-toothed tiger is the most aggressive cat ever born. The saber-toothed tigers were fierce, mighty, fast, and had a killer instinct that every creature in the world feared. Its iconic fangs were nearly a foot long, and it would impale all victims with them to ensure that the kill was complete. But don't discount how powerful the rest of their body was. They were so fast that they could catch nearly any prey. And with their strong hind legs, they could pounce on their opponents and use their strength and mass to ensure they didn't get away. I feel like I'm in school right now, just learning. I feel like I'm in, I don't know what class it would be. Let's just say I feel like I'm in geography or geometry or trigonometry. Pain. I don't want to think about that. Hey, the main reason why we should be glad they don't exist anymore is that they're really aggressive killers. When you deal with lions, tigers, cheetahs, and others, you can leave them alone and they won't mess with you more times than not. The saber-toothed tiger, though, well, it wouldn't be like that. Instead, it would likely chase down any and all- How the heck do they know this? They get bones. How do you know what it acts like? Like, how would you know what it acts? You have bones. you never seen it. How do you know it's aggressive? Maybe it's friendly. Maybe it's like a household cat. Maybe stable two tigers are friends. Friendly. Cool animals. All humans that got in its view. They're like, I'm curious, how? How do you know their personality? Which would wreak havoc on our world. Number six, Utah Raptor. The name Velociraptor is synonymous with the Jurassic Park films, as they were one of the main villains in virtually every one of those movies. But the fact of the matter is, they were the size of chickens and might have been feathered in real life. However, there were raptors that were big and dangerous and could easily- Wait, velociraptors were the size of chickens? Velociraptors? I thought there was like, y'all remember Jurassic Park, like when the fast things was running around? I thought they were that big, like the size of a human. Chickens? I'll kick that little thing balance the world if they were still alive today, such as the Utah Raptor. This is the largest raptor ever discovered, as bones of the Utah Raptor have been 18 to 20 feet long and weighed 1,500 pounds. That's a truly massive raptor that people would not want a piece of, me included. Just the claws of the Utah Raptor were about one foot long, and weirdly, the movies did accurately portray the claws as curved which allowed the raptors to rip, impale, and otherwise eviscerate anything they would consider eviscerate. their prey. There's been some debate as to whether these raptors were feathered creatures or smooth-skinned like the movies have them visually, but the bones of the Utah raptor seem to indicate they were indeed feathered in some aspect, though how much is still unclear. And the danger they could have posed to us is a bit up in the air. However, if they hunted in packs and were near populated areas, there's no doubt in any mind that they could cause a lot of harm to the population, not the least of which is because of their size. Number five, short-faced bear. Bears are massive creatures in their own right. They can tower over most people and animals, but in terms of the biggest ones that ever existed, well, that would be the short-faced bear. These bears stood over 13 feet tall when on their hind legs, which is three feet taller than the biggest bears in the world today. 13 feet? But their height wasn't the only difference they had, for they had a lot of girth too. Modern bears can weigh at almost 800 pounds, which is really heavy, no doubt, but the short-faced bear weighed around 2,000 pounds. What the heavens? Significantly more. Plus, the short-faced bears were always- That guy's killing you. He sits on you, you're dead. That's it. All he has to do is sit on you. Like 800 pounds, like let's say uh, uh, the regular size bear. They said 800, 800 pounds, right? You could survive that. That's like two big girls sitting on Two real, real big girls sitting on you. It would suck, but you could survive it. The 2,000 pound one, you're done up. 
You, you can't do, you can't, never mind, I ain't gonna say that. Y'all gonna try and cancel me. Always hungry to an extent, and it had the ability to chase down and rip apart bison, buffalo, and more. What's more, their size made them incredibly hard to defeat and the short-faced bears were infamous for their aggressive tendencies, so their very nature would make them major threats to all humans, as well as livestock and any other animals it could get its eyes on. There are some who believe that the short-faced bear still exists out in the world today, despite being killed off during the Ice Age. Number 4. Megalania In the outback of Australia during the Ice Age, there was an apex predator so feared that it became part of the legend yeah, of the land. Oh, and this creature was the Megalania. The Megalania was a monster lizard, one that was bigger than a crocodile, 23 feet long based on fossil findings. What's more, it was said to have a mouth full of teeth that were not only sharp, they were also extremely venomous. And venom isn't something a lot of lizards have, so to have a 23 foot long monitor lizard have venom is proof that it was one of the deadliest things in the outback. The Megalania would roam through the outback. I was gonna say, I guarantee you, all these things would have been in Australia. They would have not been inside the United States. Every single one of these things that they've said, Australia. Literally. What? But I'm thinking, like, what? If all these things wasn't extinct, we would live with them. We'd be fine. Like, we would learn to cope with them. It would suck to run into a freaking astronaut, you know, whatever the heck all their freaking names are. But we would we would cope. We have guns big enough to kill them. Or do we just accept our death? Like, do people on the news just be like, oh, yeah, there's another person killed by a short-faced bear. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. We tried capturing the bear. Killed another 20 people. Like, what? Do we would just live with it like that? Uh, back of Australia and would hunt just about anything out there. And this included the earliest settlers of the land, the Aborigines, who were so afraid of the Megalania that they wove it into their folklore and told tales of it for generations to come. But the Megalania isn't just something that scared people in the past. There are those who believe that the Megalania still exists in the Australian outback to this Did day. Did I tell y'all Australia? Didn't I just say, I literally just said Australia. I did, literally. Did I not? Did I not? A fossil record stating that it died some time ago. Basis for this belief involves unusual deaths of animals in the outback and occasional tracks that have been found out there. Should it still be alive, it would obviously be a big deal to those in the outback and beyond. Though the terrible recent wildfires will likely prove that this creature is still extinct, which I guess is kind of a silver lining. Number 3. The Megalodon while there were many powerful creatures out there in the ancient world, one that continues to mystify and terrify people in the modern world, despite the creature being long dead, is that of the Megalodon. The Megalodon is what you might call a super shark, as it was basically three times as big as the infamous great white shark, and twice as mean and twice as aggressive. The fossils found of the Megalodon state that it could grow up to 60 feet in length. I just went jet skiing the other day, right? Just imagine. You're having fun of your jet ski. You're like, why does the water get so dark under me? You just keep going like it's not. You realize you're not on the water anymore. You're lifted in the air. You're like, my thing's not moving. You look down. 60 foot shark. Just about to do a head flip, catching his mouth. Because you wanted to be stupid and go jet skiing. 60 feet, though? It didn't have to be that big? That's what she said. But others believe it could actually grow larger. This creature was the true apex predator of the oceans and only had a very limited set of rivals that could challenge it. One of the reasons being that it was not only large, it had the teeth to rip through just about any creature out there in the water. But there's something strange about this beast. Because when it got hungry, like really- So I just realized I accidentally uh, muted my, my, this mic right here. So that's probably why the audio, well, that's not probably, that is why the audio sounds a little different. Because we're coming through the camera audio and here. Okay, let's finish this. And to get food, it's believed that because of its size, the Megalodon would need to eat about two tons of food a day, which meant that at times it had to result to cannibalism in order just to stay fed. 
Oh, for a second, I thought cannibalism meant like eating yourself type thing. But that means eating another. 2,000 tons? You know how much that is? My man has been in bulking season since he was born. That's tough. This, along with environmental changes, led to the Megalodon dying out. And the world is likely a better place for it. After all, if the Megalodon were still around, it would quite literally cause a seismic shift in the ecosystems of the ocean. And while there are many large predators in the waters, none would be anywhere near the aggressiveness of the Megalodon. Plus, because of its eating habits, it's fair to say that it may eat up entire species given enough time and numbers. Number two, thylacine. The thylacine is a creature you likely haven't heard That's of. That's a dog. Mainly because it's a creature that died within the last century and did not have the global prominence of other major species. The thylacine is a member of the marsupial family, it's which a wolf. might lead you to think the creature is kind of cute and cuddly. And that's where you'd be wrong. For in fact, the thylacine was an apex predator and something to be feared. The nickname for the thylacine was the Tasmanian tiger, but also the Tasmanian wolf, mainly because its look made different people see different things. What? However, yeah, regardless death. of whether you feel it was a cat or a wolf, this creature was a vicious predator and earned its way to the top of the food chain as a carnivore that resided in areas like Australia and New Zealand. I keep telling y'all Australia. I don't know why people live in Australia when they battling these monsters. Y'all literally playing real life Pokemon in Australia. Hello, Mike. How you doing? Did you see the kangaroo? Oh, no. I saw an astronomical cat dog thingy and it, bro, he almost killed me, eh? Did you guys have fun over there in, in, in Australia, huh? You have fun with little animals over there in Australia? Eh, mate? Eh, mate? Eh, mate? Zealand. The thylacine would find prey in the forms of kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, and even emus. Scientists believe that the way the thylacine's body was constructed allowed it to outlast its opponents in a chase and thus give it the advantage it needed to get its supper. As for why it's extinct, many blame the expansion of humanity into its habitat for its numbers dropping off. What's more, humans thought the creature to be a rare prize, so bounties were put on its head. Funnily enough, there are some people who think the thylacine is still alive, but that's of course. speculation and rumor. Although there have been some chats about the thylacine being cloned back into existence. Cloned? What in the frickin... Government is a lie is going on here. Well, we all know the government is cloning things and making things and changing the weather and doing all this stuff, but Bro, bring back freaking bring back the freaking the, the 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 flying Tyrannosaurus Rex thingies so we can like fly them. That would be cool. Actually, they might kill people. You yeah, don't bring those back. Leave them alone. Yeah, never mind. Number one, Sarcosuchus. Existing at around 112 million years ago. So how that? Okay, listen. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down right now. 112 million years ago. How the heck do you calculate that? What calculations do you get? And how do you know anything about it? 112 million years ago? How long is that? That's a lot. That's, that's... The Sarcosuchus is affectionately known as the Super Croc. And for some very obvious reasons. Not the least of which is that this mammoth creature is double the size of most modern crocodiles, coming in at about 40 feet long. There is a single problem with that nickname, though. The Sarcosuchus actually isn't a crocodile. It's a relative of them, though, just not a direct one, which might explain why they aren't around anymore in the form of descendants, while more mainline crocodiles are. The Sarcosuchus wasn't just long, it was also heavy. It weighed eight metric tons. You know nothing. These people, how do you know? It was 112 million years ago. You don't know how much it weighed. You barely know how it's built. You have bones. You don't know if it's all the same animal. It's literally bones. How do you weigh bones? I mean, you can't, you can weigh bones, but how do you weigh how much meat is on the bones? You don't know nothing. You're stupid. You're guessing. 112 million years ago. The very first fall. I swear if he says something about his personality and saying it's aggressive, it's aggressive. Who do you know that, 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 who do you know from 112 million years ago, huh? Who do you know that saw them? No one? Exactly. If I swear if he says something about his personality. I swear. I swear. 
Fossils of the creature were actually found in the Sahara Desert during an expedition by Albert Felix de la Parent, a French paleontologist between 1946 and 1950. Wait, so a crocodile's bones were found in the desert. A crocodile in the desert. That's not adding up, Billy. It's not. Deny. Then in 1964, a complete skull of them was discovered. Yet it wasn't until the year 2000 when enough bones of the sarcosuchus had been found to give scientists a better picture of what exactly they were looking at. There's been much speculation as to what the sarcosuchus would have eaten. However, it did eventually live with the dinosaurs. You and know nothing. would have guaranteed that it could have challenged and eaten a great deal of them. Thanks for watching. Which of these? I'm glad he wasn't stupid and said something about the personality because he don't know. He don't know what the heck he's talking about. He doesn't. But uh, that's the end of the video. I feel like I just watched health class. Honestly, am I scared of any of these? Yes, all of them, actually, except for that cat dog one. What do the comments say? Megalodon. If you can survive listening to Titan Aboa and Megalodon, you are truly. Facts. No offense to, but you got to work on pronunciation. Facts. I cringe every time Megalodon. Facts. I know he did not say Megalodon. Facts. I think that's enough comment reading. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like right now. If you want me to react to a video, send it to me on Instagram at Juva underscore is right over there. And I'm saying, damn it to me. I'm going to screenshot it. If I, if I react to it, I'll give you a shout out. If I don't react to it, you know, I get nothing. Um, that's about it. Make sure you comment with Jeffrey. Debbie, you can buy two. Debbie, you can buy two. Also, follow me on Instagram at Juva underscore. Also, subscribe to my second channel, Juva's Life. Also, subscribe to my gaming channel right over there, uh, Juva Games. And I'm um, yeah, I'm going to see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through